Morning. Hey, this is Big Les. This is Movie Critic. This is A Waste of Popcorn, and this is American Isis Crossover. If anybody uh, watches me, uh, they know that I have another page called American Isis, which is a comedic look at politics and politicians. And uh, I'm going to discuss basketball, NBA basketball, basketball in general. Um, there is not enough basketball movies. You got The Fish That Saved Pittsburgh, Hoosiers, Loving Basketball, and Space Jam, Semi Pro. That's about it. That's all I can think of. Them the only movies that I remember that had an impact. Um, Fish That Saved Pittsburgh, of course, man. It's Dr. J, it's The Sheik. It's all these individuals bringing something to the table uh, to make up a basketball team. And, and there's an argument going around that there's not enough white guys in the NBA. Let me tell you something. Sports is mixed with everybody. 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 Croatians, Americans, black, white, brown Asian it doesn't matter come on man this is a sport this is what this what gets accomplished with everybody involved you know y'all keep saying race okay I'll say race but to me I don't say race it's only human race that's it but uh, you know whatever for what it's worth for what you know all right Hoosiers Hoosiers is an all white uh <laughs> uh, an all-white basketball team that made it to the finals from some uh, country area, you know. Uh, then you got uh, I didn't I didn't put those glory movies in there. I'm not putting that shit in there. But the white coach takes an all-black basketball team to the finals. So what, motherfucker? Get the fuck out. I don't want to hear about that shit. Semi-pro. Another another spinoff like the fish that saved Pittsburgh, but it was it was a comedy and I love Will Ferrell. It was a comedy based on reality, because those the Flint Tropics. I remember when uh, the Atlanta Hawks was the St. Louis Hawks, and the Lakers, the Los Angeles Lakers, was in Minnesota, and the Detroit Pistons was in Indiana. So you know those uh, those teams. What happened was there was no excitement in the NBA. Uh, if you go back to the days of Bob Cousy before Bill Russell, you see a whole bunch of five foot eight white guys shooting around the rim, looking like the WNBA uh, first season. <laughs> there was no. Then you go out to Rutgers Park, or you go out here in Saginaw, Michigan, in uh, 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 no blood, no foul zone. <laughs> I bet bets. Where Green come from, what he be bragging about? You see behind the back, through the legs, around the, around the neck. Woo ha! Got you all in check. You'll see that Dr. J, and that's the reasons why they blended the B leagues into the NBA. Got rid of the colored ball and gave them the brown ball. So, blacks integrating the NBA with all the sports spectaculars uh, added flavor to the white guys who could shoot. So you had an all around team. It was a it was a buffet for us in the 70s and 80s in the NBA. It was brilliant. We need more movies like that. Uh, Love and Basketball, my long crush on Sonara Latham and uh, <laughs> Um, Space Jam Charles Barkley versus the four year old little girl in the gym that's silent loved it not the movie I loved that clip Space Jam was a child movie instead of doing it over by replacing, by replacing uh, 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 um, Michael Jordan with LeBron do an original piece this is the king right then do do like you did in the commercial 
when everybody saw the light and when uh when King James was in the church and everybody could dunk and you know <laughs> base it on that you know leave race out okay so a waste of popcorn space jam uh that's best, best basketball movie of all time in my eyes love and love and basketball i'm about to say love and hip-hop that garbage love and basketball my second is hoosiers I'm going to watch Gene Hackman. I'm going to watch Dennis Hopper play the drunk guy because he was brilliant in that movie. Um, those two. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to leave it at that. Road to Glory. Uh, I'm, I told you I'm not going to include those movies because I get sick of those. Uh, I'm sick of those kind of sports films. All right, this is uh, Movie Critic, uh, Waste of Popcorn. 